guys, how is everyone? <laughs> We're here doing a full body circuit today. How is everyone? <laughs> Hi Dan, mum's here. <laughs> I'll wait a few minutes for everyone to join. How's everyone doing? Is the music too loud as well? Tell me if, um, if you guys can't hear me. So you guys who probably haven't seen me before, I'm Vicky Williamson, um, GB bobsleigh athlete, ex-GB track cyclist, um, Under Armour athlete, and yeah, here to take you for, through a full body workout. It's the last episode of the No Fun Standing Still at Home series with sports shoes, so hopefully we will end with a good one. <laughs> I'll just wait another minute. Mm -hmm. Right, we're going to get into the warm up now. Hope everyone is ready. So, we're going to firstly go through a warm up, we're then going to go through a leg circuit, and then we're going to go through an upper body and core circuit. So, Hope everyone is ready. So I had a really bad accident a few years ago, so I've actually done quite a bit of warming up before, before the circuit, just because I need to get my body moving. But still, I'm going to take you through a few bits of mobility, activation stuff, and then we will get into it. Okay, firstly, we're going to go on to our hands and knees, and we're going to do the cat camel. So in this, we're really going to think about pelvis control. We're going to pull it under and arch our back up. And then push out. Really starting to feel the movement in the spine. A few more reps. Nice and slow and controlled. And then we're going to go into a crucifix movement. So we're going to lay onto our backs with our palms facing down. And then we're going to take our leg across our body. Like so. Really feeling the spine again and start to move. A few of those each side. Again, take it nice and easy. Just trying to warm up the joints. Oh, you can hear my back clicking. <laughs> A few more reps. Right, and then we're going to get into roll back. So again, another spine mobility exercise. So we're going to lay on our backs, hold our knees, and just rock really gently. Just forward and backwards. Really thinking about getting that movement into your back. Right, next we're going to get into fire hydrants. So we're going to start to activate glutes. So we'll go right leg first. Out to the side and down. Again, controlled movement. Really thinking about activating the glutes. Keep your back in a nice neutral position and pull in through the core. So we'll switch legs. And then we're going to go into donkey kicks after this one. Again, another glute activation exercise. So again, get in a nice stable position and then we're going to push our leg up into the air. For 10 reps, two, three, Four. Three more. 
and then onto the left leg, same again, for 10, three more, nice, so we're going to go into a lunge series to open up our hips, so we're going to stand up right on the mat, we're going to pull our left leg up towards our chest, and then lunge out. We're then going to put our left elbow down to the floor and then left arm up into the air. We'll do a few reps of this while we're here. So elbow down to the floor, arm up into the air, really opening the hip up. And then we're going to rock back onto the back leg and get a little hamstring stretch, so like a floss movement. You should feel that all down the front leg. And then we're going to switch sides. So same again. Knee up. Into a lunge. Right elbow down to the floor. Hand into the air. Same again. Elbow down to the floor. Arm up. Really opening up the thoracic and the hips. Just do a few reps here. Arm up into the air, and then rock back and onto, onto the back leg to stretch out the hamstring. We're going to do a couple more rounds of this, again back to the left leg. Lunge down, elbow down, hand into the air. Same again. Hope everyone's feeling nice and warm and mobile. And again, back onto that hamstring. Okay, final one, onto the right leg. Knee up, down. Elbow down, hand into the air. And then one more hamstring floss. Nice, right, so now we're going to do a little bit of core activation and some more of the hamstrings. So we're going to stand hip width apart, and then we're going to walk out into a high plank position, and then walk back again, and upright. Just do a few of those. Really thinking about engaging the core. And holding a nice strong plank. You should be getting warm now. Everything's activated and loosened off. A couple more reps. One more. And back up. Right, one last bit of the warm up. We're just going to hang about in downward dog for a little bit. Just to make sure the hamstrings are nice and loose. So just let your head fall between your arms, straighten your legs, move them about, just get everything really loose and ready. Okay, right, we're ready to go. So, first circuit is going to be three rounds of 30 seconds on each exercise. We're going to do split squats, sumo squat pulses, and single leg hip thrusts. So I'll do a quick demonstration of those. So first exercise is going to be 15 seconds on each leg of split squats. Now, because it's a body weight circuit, we're going to make things harder by slowing them down. So we're going to go for tart for tempos. So get into a split squat position. And it's going to be nice and slow on the way down. Really slow down the eccentric movement, like so. Then for sumo squat pulses, they speak for themselves, they will burn. So we're going to get into a wide squat stance, feet pointing slightly outwards, go into a squat position, and then we're just going to pulse up and down. And the last exercise is single leg hip thrusts. So for this, we're going to come down onto our mat, get in a nice comfy position, push your hips up into the, push your hips up high, 
And then we're going to take one foot off the floor, making sure that the foot that's on the floor has got your heel down. And then we're going to work like so. You should really feel this in hamstrings and your glutes. And again, we're going to go for 15 seconds on each side. So let's get into the first circuit. So to begin with, it's the split squat, 15 seconds each side. Right, let's go. Nice and slow. Really think about control of the movement. It's burning already. Right, that's 15 seconds. Switch legs. We're nearly at 30, so we're nearly into the sumo squats. Okay, that is 30. So straight into the sumo squat pulses. So wide stance. Again, you can make these as slow or as fast as you want. If you're struggling, just hold the position. Or maybe don't go as low as well. You can go kind of a bit higher. But just keep it working. Nearly there. Five more seconds. And in three, two, one. And on to the next exercise, which is the single leg hip thrusts. Go left leg first. Really push your glutes up into the sky. Woo! Feeling the burn already. <laughs> That's 15 seconds, that other leg. Keep it up, guys, nearly there. And stop. Right, so we're going to have 10 seconds and then we're going to go into round two. So two more rounds. Whew. And ready again in three, two, one. And again on the split squat, nice and slow. Nice and controlled. Nearly there. Keep it going, guys. And we're going to switch legs now. On to the other leg. Keep it up. Nearly there, nearly at 30. So nearly into the sumo squat pulses. And we're in, into the sumo squat. You should really start to feel your legs burn now. Keep it up. We're nearly there. This is the second round of three. Whew. And... Ready to switch into single leg hip thrust. Let's go. Left leg first. Keep up, guys. Nearly there. And switch legs. Nearly into the last round. Really tense those glutes. And we're done. 10 seconds and then we're into round three. Hope everyone's okay. I can't see the comments from over here. So third and final round of legs. We're going 10 seconds with the split squats. Right, ready? We're in. And up. Last round. We're nearly there. And that is 15 seconds switch legs. Nearly there guys. Nice and slow on the way down. 
and into the sumo squat pulses. Last round of these. Really activate those glutes. Sit up in a nice position. If you're feeling the burn, just hold the position or narrow the stance. Just keep working. We're nearly there. Five, three, two, one. And single leg hip thrust. This is the last leg, leg exercise. Really dig the heel into the ground and push up into the floor. And switch legs. Last one. Keep it up, guys. Nearly there. And we are done. That is the leg circuit done. So we'll take a couple of minutes before we go into the second circuit. Grab a drink. Whew. How is everyone? Oh, it's hot in here. Hope everyone's okay. So the next circuit is going to be upper body and core. Right, we'll just wait another minute and then we'll get into the second circuit. Right, so I hope everyone's had a drink and we're ready for the second circuit. So again, we're going to go for three rounds, 30 seconds on each exercise. The first one is going to be mountain climbers. So we're going to get into the high plank position and then we're going to Bring each leg up to our arm, right? So, again, this is all about control, about keeping a nice plank position and really working your core. Then we're going to go into a lepnus. So we're going to lay on our back. Again, activating our core, making sure that we don't arch our back. And we're going to go from this motion to outwards. So bring our hands and knees together and then separate out, like so. Next exercise is going to be bear crawls. Now do not underestimate these, they do burn. So again, onto our hands and knees, getting into the spine into a nice neutral position. So imagine you've kind of got like a foam roller balance on your back. So on our mat, we're going to do a few steps forward and then a few steps backwards. Again, for 30 seconds, nice and controlled, nice and stable. We're then gonna go into Russian twists. So we're gonna sit like so, and then the motion is from side to side. And then the final exercise is eccentric press-ups. So again, don't worry if you can't do this from your feet from a full press up, then just come onto your knees. But it's going to be slow on the way down. So we're really going to focus on the downward movement. And then just sit back up and then in again. Really keeping your elbows close to your body, just nice and controlled. And again, we're going to go for 30 seconds on each. And we're going to go for three rounds. So when we're ready, first exercise is a mountain climber. We're going to start in ten. Three rounds, upper body and core base circuit. This one is right in two seconds, and we're in. Nice and controlled. Really controlled, keeping that core nice and tight. Nearly there, 10 more seconds to go. And three, two, and one. 
and we are into a left nose. So again, nice and controlled, making sure that your back's pushed into the floor. Nice and controlled movement. Nearly there, 10 seconds to go. So keep going guys, three seconds left. And we're in. Into the back crawls. Nice neutral spine, forwards and backwards on the mat. That's halfway. Ten more seconds. And we're into Russian twists. So we're going to find that comfortable position, feet off the floor, and twist. Fifteen more seconds. Ten more. Let's go, guys. Keep it going. And stop. Now into the eccentric press-ups. Nice strong position and slow on the way down. And then up again. Nearly there guys, it's halfway. Nearly there, last rep. Nice and slow. And we're done, first round done. So we're going to have a minute or so and then we're going to go again. Two more rounds and then we are done. Hope everyone's okay. Right, we'll go again in 30 seconds. This is a super quick circuit, super easy. Not so much a hip circuit, but more of a, a slow burner. Right, and we're gonna go in 15 seconds again for round two, starting with the mountain climbers. And in 10 seconds. Round two, one more after this. And in three seconds, two, one, and go. Nice tight position, really driving those knees up to the arms, good work, keep it up, 15 more seconds, 10 more, we're nearly done, keep it up guys, 3 more seconds, 2 and stop, into a Lechner's. Nice and controlled. Really get that full extension. We're nearly there. Ten seconds left. And then we're going to go into bear crawls in two and finish. Straight into the bear crawls. A few steps forward, a few steps back. Hopefully you guys should be feeling the burn now. And again, oh, lost my coordination. <laughs> and we're nearly there. Three seconds. And stop. Straight into rushing twists. Nearly done round two. Eccentric press 
start. Let's go. Nice and slow. And again. Keep it up. Keep it going, guys. Ten more seconds. And again. Last rep. And done. That's round two done. Quick drink again and then we'll start round three. And then we are finished. A minute or so and then one last round of that and we will do a quick warm down and then we are finished. Hope everyone's got a sweat on and is feeling it. Whew. Okay, so last round in 20 seconds and we're into the last one. In 10 seconds, into mountain climbers. And we are in. This is the last round, guys, last push. Nearly there, halfway. Keep it up. and cool down just to finish off with grab a drink if you need one we're just going to do a few stretches to finish off with Whew. that was a good workout hope everyone enjoyed so first one we're just going to sit down onto the mat sit back onto our heels into child's pose and just stretch out in front. Really just stretching the back out. Reaching far away from you and just relax into that position. Okay. 
We're then going to go up into downward dog. Again, just stretching off the hamstrings. Just do one leg at a time, just really stretching off, warming down the body. Hang around up, upside down for as long as you need. Just get really stretched and loosened off. We're then going to bring our, one of our legs forward, so we'll go left first. And really stretch the glutes off. Lean into it, kind of lean on the floor. If your flexibility doesn't allow that, just sit up into it. But just really try and relax into that stretch. Should feel that loosen off and feel the range. And go back into downward dog. Again, a few more stretches there. And then bring the right leg through. Really sitting into that glute. And we are done. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if anyone's got any questions, um, fire away now. Whew. Seriously hot. Hope everyone enjoyed that as well. That was the last of the No Fun Standing Still series from Sports Shoes. Hope you guys enjoyed. For those of you who missed the intro, my name is Vicky Williamson, GB Bobsleigh athlete and underarm athlete. And we just did a full body circuit. If anyone has any questions, fire away. Okay, guys, so everyone follow my social media at Vix Williamson um, and follow my journey in the crazy world that is bobsleigh. As I said, that was the last series of the No Fun Standing Still at Home series with sports shoes. There's been over 36 live streams with a thousand minutes of free workouts. If you've missed any, check them out on Instagram TV or sports shoes blog. Keep your eyes peeled for live workouts in the future and stay safe, everyone. Thank you.